Friends, this is second part of Add or Remove Dynamic Dependent Select Box Field by using jQuery with PHP and Ajax, and in this part, we will discuss how to remove table row and how to field dynamic dependent subcategory select box with data. In previous part, we have seen how to add dynamic form field, like text box, select box in form, and how to fill dynamic category select box data. First here, we have seen how to remove table row data, for this we have go to index page jQuery code. And here we have write, dollar with document selector, with on method and under this, we have right click event, with button class remove, by click on remove button, this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write dollar the selector, with closest method, and under this method we have write table row tag. After this we have write remove method, this method will remove this button parent table row. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, and after refresh of page, here we have click on add button, and add two three table row. So, here we have create table row for enter item details, now we want to remove second row, so we have click on remove button. After click on remove button, here on web page we can see that, second row has been removed from table, so this way we can remove dynamic field using jQuery. Now we have moved to fill subcategory select box with data, here dynamic subcategory data, will be depend on value of its dynamic parent category select box. For this, here we have write, dollar with document selector, with on method, and under this, we have write change event. With dynamic category select box class, item category. So when we have select category from dynamic category select box, then this block of code will execute. Under this, first we have write category id variable is equal to, dollar this with value method, it will fetch the value of selected option tag from dynamic category select box, and store in category id variable. Below this, we have write subcategory id variable is equal to, dollar this, with data method, and under this we have write, subcategory id. This code, will fetch the value of data attribute, from selected dynamic category select box, and store in subcategory id variable. Now we have moved to write ajax request, and in this first option url has been set to fill subcategory.php file, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, and here we can define by using which method, we have to send data to server, so here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and here we can define which we want send to server, so here we have defined category id variable value, as data for send to server. Lastly, we have write, success callback function, this function has been called after success of ajax request, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write html variable is equal to, 
option tag value attribute is equal to blank, and in option text, we have right select subcategory. Below this, we have right HTML variable, and in this variable we have append value of data variable. After this, we have write dollar with dynamic subcategory select box ID, item subcategory, with value of subcategory ID variable, with HTML method. And under this, we have write HTML variable, it will fill dynamic subcategory select box with dynamic data, of subcategory, which has been get from server. Now we have moved to write PHP code in fill subcategory.php file, and here first we want to make database connection. So here we have write, include statement with database connection.php file, it will make database connection on this page. After making database connection, now we have write echo statement, and after this we have called fill select box function, with two argument like dollar connect variable, and dollar post category id variable. This function will fetch data from category table, and based on value of category id variable, it will return data to ajax request. Now check this output of selecting category from dynamic category select box, and filled data of subcategory in dynamic subcategory select box in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, and after refresh of web page. Here first we have click on add button, and here we can see one has row been append in table. Now we have enter item name, and after this here we can see, category select box has been filled with data, but subcategory select box is blank. So we have select category select box, after selecting category select box, then in subcategory select box has been filled with data. Now we have changed the category from category select box, and after change category select box, then here subcategory data also has been changed, that means this select box has been depend on value of category. So, in this part, we have cover how to remove row from table, and then after we have seen how to fill dynamic dependent subcategory select box with data, after selecting value of dynamic category select box. In next part, we will discuss how to validate this dynamic form data, and submit data to server using jQuery with Ajax. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.